Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to geology and just the sort of makeup of each country, right? And when it comes to the United States, I think I have a general sense for how things are made up. I've sort of always looked at it as, you know, there are mountains on this side, mountains on this side and flat land in the middle. It's, it's sort of like a bagel with a piece of ham in the middle. You know, America is a ham bagel sandwich with extra corn. But it turns out there was a bit more to it than that because there was this chap from 1917 called Nevin Fenneman. And what he did was he subdivided America into 24 physiographic provinces. And yes, I did say provinces. You're getting more like Canada every day. And what does that mean? Well, in layman's terms, it just means America could have another map because it didn't have enough of them. And also it was a way of dividing America up into very distinct geological boundaries. The problem for me as I attempt to learn as much about the United States of America as I can is I thought there were only three. I'm going to quiz myself on all of these provinces and see how many I get right. It's going to be mostly guesswork, I think, just from names alone. And speaking of names, there will be a treasure trove of mispronunciations here, so be warned. This, this isn't going to be like some of the other quizzes I took where I, you know, aced all 50 United States and all 50 state capitals and did really well on a history quiz. No, while those were good indicators of why I have an IQ of 437 in metric units, this one is going to be slightly harder. Actually, it's going to be a lot harder. I will admit right now, I don't know most of these. I don't think. So sit back, relax and get ready to laugh your ass off as I attempt to name and place on a map all of the United States' physiographic provinces. Well, already we have a very intimidating looking map that it, it just looks like a tiramisu gone wrong, doesn't it? To look at that. And plenty of regions. I must say, they're not quite laid out half how I expected them. So this should be very interesting to do. So let's play quiz and don't laugh or just laugh a little bit. Just keep it to you. I won't be able to hear you anyway. It's fine. All right, play quiz. Uh, let's see. So, okay, first one. You can see the, the name up here in this sort of top uh, left corner. So we've got the Wyoming Basin. Uh, so Wyoming, of course, is up here somewhere. Without the state outlines, this is hard to know which ones are which. It's got to be one of these, hasn't it? I'd say Wyoming is round, round about there, isn't it? I can almost see Yellowstone. So I, I think so. I'm going to click that one. Green means yes. Green is the universal symbol of yes, so I'll go with that. The Great Plains province. I can only assume that is the Great Plains. And I do know that one. That definitely covers here. Um, and you've got sort of what, Oklahoma, parts of Texas, Kansas, Nebraska, the Dakotas. So that would, ha that would absolutely have to be the Great Plains province. Good, I've got the easy one out of the way. Atlantic Coastal Plain, or well, the Atlantic's over here, the coast is down this side, and there's more to this one than there is to this one. So the Atlantic Coastal, I've never heard this term, really. I mean, I just refer to this as the Northeast, whoops, and uh, this one as sort of the South. So the Atlantic Coastal Plain, I'm gonna guess is this one. Let's go with that more green this is three out of three so far that can't be bad uh next up middle rocky mountains so the rocky mountains have been broken up into more than one by the sounds of it the rockies are sort of up this way now looking at this you would suggest that that's north that's south and this is middle uh because you've got the wyoming basin right there as well part of this just a sub sandwich not not sub as in the thing you get at subway i meant kind of sub as in subdivided and never mind so the wyoming basin and i think this must be the middle rocky mountains it is i am four for four the what now the the adin the adirock i don't know how to say this the adirondack province the adirondacks so there's a there's a helpful word from the side. I'm not really supposed to be getting help on this. Oh, I'm but it was sorry. It's fine. That was just with a pronunciation. She didn't tell me where it was, so I'm going to have to work that out myself now. Um, well, I don't know this one. I've never heard of it, um, and this, this is embarrassing. I think that it's probably going to be uh, somewhere on... somewhere in the east, because 
I don't know why, really. It just it sort of sounds like it might be. This, I think, is going to be Appalachia, or the sort of Appalachian province, or whatever jazzy name it's given. So I won't go with that. I think, oh, I've just realised we we're, we're on our timer, by the way. Five minutes left. Better go quick. It's going to be one of these, isn't it? Um, I, I'll go with that one. No, the, where was it? Oh, goodness. Okay, so it puts the, when you get a red, it puts the real location, which appears to be up here in the northeast. So um, I'll commit that one to memory. Uh, next one, Northern Rocky Mountains. That should be nice and easy. Uh, I think it's got to be that. I don't think it could be anything else. Yes, Northern Rocky Mountains. Here we go, the Appalachian Plateaus. I told you it'd be something fancy. Listen to that, Plateaus. That's, that makes it sound very fancy, very French and native all in one. Uh, so I think it's going to be this orange one, though there are some sort of thinner ones next to it, but the Appalachian region is is a lot thicker, I think, so, uh, or at least the plateaus are. So I'm going to go with that one. Yes, I've been there, so it's cheating. Um, Superior Upland, That how arrogant does that sound? Uh, if you live there, then I hope you're you're modest to balance things out. The superior upland, well, it's up and it's a land and it's a superior, probably near Lake Superior. Uh, so is it going to be this thing right here? I think it probably is. That's that's not far from Chicago. It's the superior upland. Have you heard of the, the superior upland wife? No, I don't think so. I think we're going to have to go there at some point and prove our own superiority and I, there's, there's no further joke to be made around that. Central Lowland. Uh, so something that's central would appear to be, oh, I don't know though, because I do, I know for a fact that the Ozarks are on this and they're gonna be one of those. I think the Central Lowland, I think we live in the Central Lowlands, wife. I hate to announce that to you right now on camera, but I think it's this big one uh, that looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. It, it looks like something, a malformed leg I'll click it. It is that one. So that's the central lowlands. We've got, we've got uh, many more still to do. So I've got to rush through these now. The Colorado Plateaus. Colorado's over here. I'm going to guess that the plateaus are, what would it be this one? Uh, maybe that one. It is. That's green. The Ozark Plateau. Here we go. There's a lot of plateaus. Uh, is it this one? It's going to be in and around Arkansas. That's what I know about the Ozarks. So we'll go with it. It is. That's the plateau, the Ozark Plateau. Blue Ridge Province, where you've got the Blue Ridge Mountains up in this sort of area. So uh, I would go with Blue Ridge Province there. No, it was over this way. I was off by many miles. Okay, Valley and Ridge Province. Valley and Ridge Province. When I think of ridges, I think of the sort of eastern area. But when I think of valleys, I think of California. So um, I'm lost. But one of these is going to have to be something I've never heard of. This thin strip here. What's that? Let's go with that. Oh, it was. That was. I just. That was an amazing guess. You should have seen that wife. You'd be proud. Eleven still to go. Uh oh, uh, the Cascade Sierra Mountains. Well, Sierra Nevada, Nevada, is in mostly California, but goes into Nevada, doesn't it? So, I think it's this one. I think it's got to be the thin piece there. Uh, I'll look like a fool if this is wrong. It is correct. Columbia Plateaus. What, what are those? Columbia Plateaus. Uh, We've got two that are around the Ozarks. I think it's probably going to be one of those. I'm going to go with that one. No, oh goodness, it was that thing up near the Rockies, Columbia. I'll have to remember that one. Uh, Basin and Range Province, where you've got the basin is over here, isn't it? Near, near California and partly in it. So, yes, it was a big chunky one again. Glad to get another chunky one out of the way. One minute left, eight to go. Lower California province is... Oh, it, oh there's a little one. It's like a, it's like a large Rhode Island all to itself. Uh, the Wachita province. Oh, goodness. Well, it's not that one. It's not that California one. I'll bet it's going to be one of these again near the Ozarks. I'll go with that one. Oh, look at that. And I knew that because I got the, the other one wrong. So it had to be that one to some extent. Interior low plateaus. Interior low plateaus. Did I do that? That one? I did. That was the Blue Ridge, wasn't it? Yes, it's already taken. I'll go with this one. Interior low plateaus. It's grey right now. Oh, goodness. It was the one that I've been messing around with earlier. 30 seconds ago. Five. Uh, Pacific border province. This one. 
the St. Lawrence Valley. I ought to know that. We haven't got many left. It's got to be one of these, I think. Probably that one. Oh, yes. Southern Rocky Mountains. Which one haven't we done? Is it that one? Yes. New England Province. That one. We've got 15 seconds left. Piedmont Province. Uh, the Piedmont dialect is in and around this area, so I think it has to be this one. And I'm going to make things very tense by uh, leaving it until the last second to click it. It's like playing chicken, this, to do it. It took it, did it? It took it. The Piedmont. Yes, it did. What did I get? 83%. That's amazing. And if you look across the board here, 62% is normal for this. I must say a lot of those were guesses, um, especially right toward the end there. It was sort of trial and error for the most part. But that's 20 out of 24. How did you do as you were playing along? Did you know any of these? Did you uh, make the same mispronunciations as I made? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching me hand over my death warrant to the people of the Adirondacks. I, uh, I will do better. You know, one of the reasons that I put these quizzes out there is to hold myself accountable and to improve on the things that I didn't know. Either that or just good at memorizing things on the toilet. And given my unquenchable thirst for useless knowledge, you might want to follow me on Twitter, where I dispense a lot of it. You can even come along and say hi, even those of you in the Adirondacks. Just, just be kind. If that's you, you can follow me right here at Lost in the Pond US. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't plateau. There's that word again. And a big shout out, a huge shout out to all of my patrons who make my videos possible. Without you, none of this would be. I wouldn't be able to take any of these quizzes. That's not, I mean, they are free, so that's not strictly true. But I, I wouldn't have the technology that I have at my disposal in order to record said quizzes and put these videos out to the world and do further research, which I am going to do after this video. I'm going to read around all of the places that I missed so that I have a, a better understanding of, of what they are, where they are, and why they are. Not so much why, just the first two. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this episode of Lost in the Pond. Don't forget to hit my stupid little face to subscribe and please share this video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you would like to support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash lostinthepond.